Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are talking all about the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette Stars in Your Eyes. I got Charlotte's uh, last year's Instant Eye Palette and I've created four looks for you. And um, I'm doing kind of the same thing today. I've created four different looks. They are kind of like coordinated according with Charlotte's guides. Like I've done the love eyes, I've done the power eyes, the happy eyes and the confident eyes. And also I have swatches, thoughts and all that good stuff. Let's jump straight away to the tutorials that I've created and then I'll be back and share my thoughts. Alright guys, um, I use for primer the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter for eyes. And then I used a little bit of powder here, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Translucent Powder. And I'm taking a brush and I'm going to the low vise and the, that shade over there. Then I'm taking a flat synthetic brush and the middle shade here of the low vise. For the lower lash, I'm getting the shade 3 of the Love Eyes. And for the under the brow and inner corners, the first shade. This is the look number one, more daytime look and the Love Eyes. Now this is the second look and we're going with power eyes and I'm taking a flat brush and that shade over here, the number three. Then I'm taking a fluffier brush and I'm going with this shade over here from the happy eyes just for the transition color, just a little bit. For my lower lash, I'm going again with the same shade of the Power Eyes, this one, the number three. For under the brow, I'm going with the middle shade, the number two. And same shade for the inner corner. Taking my finger and the first shade here, the number one, and just pop it a little bit in the middle. just for the extra oomph. And this is the second look, it's the power eyes. Now we're going to the look number three. I'm taking a brush and I'm going with um, this shade over here, the two shade, as my transition color. Then I'm taking a flatter brush and I'm going with this shade over here, the number three. Then for the inner corners a little bit here, I'm going with the first shade, number one. And under the brow, I'm going with the first shade here from the first trio, the love eyes for the lower lash i'm going again with the same shade the uh, number three and this is the third look using the happy eyes Now our fourth and final look and we're going with the confident eyes and I'm taking this shade over here, the middle shade, the number two and the flat brush
just with a smaller brush I'm going to the shade number three and with um, my fingers I'm taking the shade number one and I'm popping it in the middle then I'm going to the power eyes and that second shade over here and I'm popping that on the inner corners For the lower lash, I'm going with the shade number three. And for under the brow, um, I'm going with the first shade here from the low eyes. And this is the fourth and final look. It's the confident eyes. Now, the box looks like that and um, it says mood enhancing eye looks to inspire love, power, happiness and confidence. You get 9 grams of product, 0.31 fluid ounces and it retails for 120 Australian dollars and it is made in Italy. Now the palette looks like that. It's actually quite different than the last year's palette. If you watch my last year's video, um, you know that I wasn't extremely happy with the palette. It was way too neutral for me. And not all the shades performed the same. This year's palette, it's a kind of like dark burgundy instead of like the gold is last year. And the packaging looks more sturdy, more luxurious, if you will. The layout is exactly the same. You get the big mirror here, which I like because it's not wasted of space. I don't like when companies, they put stuff here around the mirror. I want like the full on mirror. And you get 12 shades. You also get that plastic thing that says one, two, three um, on the shades. Like, for example, prime enhance smoke. So if you don't know at all how to use makeup, that's an easy guide. It gives you that's just an idea. Now, I don't keep these. What I've noticed from this palette also, last year's palette, and generally Charlotte's palettes, it doesn't have shade names. Um, it just has only for the trio, like power eyes, you know, happy eyes, love eyes, confident eyes. It, bear that in mind if something that, you know, that, that's bothering you. Now I'm going to start with the swatches and I'm going to swatch by three. This is the love eyes. So we've got prime, enhance and smoke. Now the next three. Now these are the power eyes and we have prime and hands and smoke. These are all shimmers. Now we have the happy eyes. We've got prime and hands and smoke. These guys all over the lid is bomb. So beautiful. These rose gold. And last but not least, we have the Confident Eyes, which I'm wearing on my eyes today. We've got Prime, Enhance and Smoke. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swatch all the shimmery shades together. Now, these are all the shimmery colors. Some they have different finishes, like some they have like some sort of a glitter toppers, like this one and this. And then the next one, they are more foiled. This one, oh, I mean, they all perform extremely well. And then you have these five mats. Now, thoughts on this palette, guys. Mats and simmers perform really, really well, exceptionally well. And the color payoff is fantastic. It's, it blew my mind. It's beyond amazing. Um, I'm going to tell you straight away that I love this palette. Last year, as you know, I wasn't that excited and I gave it away. But this year, the palette is amazing. Mats perform really well. They're very, very creamy. They're easy to build and the color payoff is there. The simmers are great as well. You have like different finishes. As I said, you have these foiled eyeshadows like this over here. Right? Look at that. And that amber here. 
the one I'm wearing on the lid and also that, these are like foiled. Look at that. And then you have like these two kind of like more like a toppers, kind of like they have like that sign, but the color payoff is there. One thing bear in mind, there is kickback. There is a lot of fallout. The reason that I used powder, like a loose powder, just, you know, on the corners here on the tutorial, well, there are two reasons. First, it just gives me a cleaner line here. And second, there, there is a lot of fallout. So I didn't want to destroy my makeup. If fallout is something that it's bothering you, bear that in mind. The shades that, that have more fallout are the shimmery shades, not the mattes. As you see, especially those like foiled shades over here um, and these two. These, they're not as, uh, they, these two, they don't have much fallout or that shade. The mattes, they don't have like fallout. I have not seen anything like that. Um, just a little bit maybe like a normal pigmented matte but nothing major but the simmers they do so bear that in mind I've used them without the primer and they perform extremely well they do last all day the pigmentation is there and you as you saw you can create different looks you can create matte looks you can create the simmer looks I like the balance of the shades um, I have all the mattes that I need yeah, in the first glance when I saw this palette, I was like, oh, there we go, another like neutral rosy palette. When I first saw it also, I thought, hmm, this is something between the Urban Decay Naked 3 and Cherry palette. But when I actually got it, I was, I was so surprised because the pigmentation, it's amazing. Uh, the only thing, as I said, these two shades, they're not as intense as the other foils. They are, don't get me wrong, but they're not like... Um, kind of like foiled metallics, they are more like shimmery. I would say they're great for like a top coat or just a wash and the lid or inner corners or whatever you want to do, you know. So you can create different looks. It's not only that rosy. Maybe the palette is like kind of like rosy tones, but you can create different looks. As you see, you can play with mattes. You, you have these amber colors here. You have these burgundy. So it's beautiful. Yeah, you have rose gold, but it's not only that as it appears to be. I think if you're on the fence and you would like to try something for Charlotte Tilbury, um, I think you will be very, very pleased. If you want to try some of her products, I would recommend you pick up this palette instead of her quads. Like say, for example, one of her quads is the Dolce Vita that I like. It's like 80 Australian dollars and this is 120. I know it's a bit more, but look, you get all these shades. They're very, very pigmented. They perform really well. They blend easy. Uh, okay, there is fallout, bear that in mind. The color is there, the pigmentation, they stay a long time on the lid. And all in all, I love the packaging. I love the colors, the combo, the pigmentation. You can create different looks. It's not just a boring neutral palette. It's a neutral palette with a bit of a kick. All in all, this is a hit. I'm very, very happy with this palette. This palette is beautiful. And also I love the packaging and has that magnetic closure. I live for that, as you know. That's all, guys. These were my thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette Stars in Your Eyes. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye.